What's going on guys, Bodacious Steve here. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day today. Today's video is going to be more of a discussional video. We're gonna be talking about the Redrix's Claymore slash Broadsword controversy, my thoughts on it, and how I feel. I also would like to know how you guys feel about this whole situation. Do you have the Claymore? Do you not have the Claymore? Because depending on if you have it or not is definitely going to sway your decision and your opinion on this situation. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As you all are probably aware, the Redrix's Broadsword is a brand new weapon coming to Destiny 2, which is virtually the Redrix's Claymore, but the Season 4 version. With random rolls, it's going to make the Redrix's Broadsword absolutely disgusting, even better than the Claymore which is literally going to make this weapon obsolete. It's really the main reason why people are upset about this, me included. It's annoying grinding my freaking butt off for a weapon to get to have it exclusively whenever Forsaken drops, and it's just kind of like a slap in the face, saying all those hours and weeks and all this time that you spent getting this weapon is wasted because there's another weapon out there that's going to be better than it. Now I'm not saying that I want the Claymore or the Broadsword to be the best weapon in the game, but I think it would be nice if I could use the Redrix's Claymore in Season 4 and do well with it and have success with it. But the way it is, uh, it's looking like the Redrix's Broadsword is going to it's gonna trump the Claymore. It's going to have random rolls, it's going to have randomized barrels, it's going to have Outlaw and Desperado as well, so it's like, what's the point of using the Claymore if I could have a Redrix's Broadsword with Desperado and Kill Clip? You know? What's the point? So that's why a lot of people are frustrated. It's annoying because, you know, like I was saying, I spent weeks grinding for the Claymore. All I would do is literally run competitive for weeks. I didn't do anything else other than that. And it's just like... I would like to use the Redrix's Claymore, it, like the gun itself, but whenever there's a duplicate of it that has random rolls and it's better, then what's the point? So that's why I'm frustrated, that's why a lot of other people are frustrated. I think that it would be really easy to implement some, uh, some ways to make it where the Redrix's Claymore wasn't obsolete anymore. For instance, I think it would be cool if whenever you get a random roll of a broadsword if you earn the claymore you're not going to get the broadsword you're going to get a random roll of the redrix's claymore that way people will see your weapon yes it'll be the exact same as the broadsword but it's got the claymore skin i think that would be a good idea you know because i personally want to use a gun that i earned and i worked hard to get and that's the good feeling that i have you know when i think of this whole situation I think of the Doctrine of Passing. Now if you were a Destiny 1 player, you will probably remember this weapon. The Doctrine of Passing was a exclusive, it wasn't exclusive, it was a Trials weapon that you could get from completing the Ingrams on uh, Trials. I think you had to get like 7 wins or something like that to get the weapon. So you could get that weapon and it was awesome. It was sick, it was yellow with a black Osiris eye outline, it was dope. But, if you went flawless, you would get the Adept version, which was black, and then it was a yellow outline, and then it also had an extra perk. I think all it did was make it where you could like zoom in quicker, or something like that. It wasn't that big a deal. It, wasn't, it didn't really make that big a difference. If you ran into somebody using an Adept Doctrine of Passing compared to a regular Doctrine of Passing, you were like, oh gosh, alright, I need to focus up because this guy is good. He really grinded hard to get that Doctrine because he went flawless and going flawless in Destiny 1 was no easy feat. So I love that. I love the status of the Adept weapons and that's how the Redrix's Claymore needs to be. Whenever you see somebody who has the Redrix's Claymore, you need to be like, oh crap, this dude is good. He took his time and he grinded 
Season 3's competitive. And he has the freaking Claymore. Like, this guy's about to wreck. And this would go perfect with my idea. If you were to be able to get random rolls of the Redrix's Claymore, if you have gotten the Claymore, then it would all be fine. Because I personally would much rather use the Redrix's Claymore with random rolls compared to the Redrix's Broadsword because I earned the Claymore. And I worked my butt off to get it. I don't have a problem with people grinding to get the Redrix's Broadsword. Because don't get me wrong, the quest for the Broadsword is extensive. It's going to take people a long, long time to get that gun. And that's fine with me. I think it's cool that they're making it where people can unlock this weapon if they didn't get the Claymore. But it was just really a shot in the foot on Bungie's part, I think by making it where the Redrix's Claymore is going to be obsolete. As I was saying, uh, me and the 8,000 plus other people who earned this weapon aren't going to be able to use it because it's not as good as the Broadsword. I think it's cool that as Claymore owners, we'll be able to get the Broadsword sooner than other people because we're just going to get it through the Ingrams from Shax, which is nice, but that's not the reason why people are upset. People are upset because they worked their tail off to get this weapon and it's not going to be any good at all in Season 4 compared to the Broadsword. That's my thought on it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Are you happy that they are adding in the Redrix's Broadsword? Did you care that they're adding it in? Uh, did you get the Redrix's Claymore or did you not? Because if you did get the Claymore, or if you didn't get the Claymore, it's definitely going to sway your opinion on what you think about this whole situation. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I think that they could definitely make it where there was a better outcome to this. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got two weeks until Forsaken drops. Next week is the official weapon loadout change, like the you know the uh the weapon slot changes so that'll be exciting be sure to keep an eye out for some new videos coming out soon and i'll catch you guys in the next video